Ladies and gentlemen, it is 2019, and it's been that way for a little while. Starting over again in Europe, uh, this time I've changed some settings in ETS2. Uh, first of all, we are at 1.35 on the versions that just came out. So I am actually starting my, my home base is in, uh, is it Sicily? <laughs> Crete? I don't know. It's whatever the new island is here. I think this is, I don't know, I'm so bad with Eastern European islands. <laughs> I think this is the island of Crete, because I think this is Sicily, right? Anyway, I am, uh, <clears throat> I have set my GPS to always be back roads. Um, so it's going to primarily focus on back roads, and then occasionally we'll get, you know, <laughs> regular roads. But <coughs> we'll be taking back roads more than freeways, because I hate taking freeways. Um, so in this game, in this edition of what I'm playing, we should see a lot more back roads. Because I'm an Italian, I'm going to stick with Iveco for this series. Uh, I really like the Iveco truck, the Astralis. Um, they're all over the place. I didn't, and uh, we're going with the ZF 16 speed. The only difference is in game, it doesn't, um, it doesn't really simulate the ZF transmission like it does in real life. In real life, it's actually an eight position shifter with a reverse off to the side so you have one two three four five six seven eight and then you have a splitter uh and so it's actually i guess it's more of a range splitter so it'd be like gears one and two are on the splitter or on the shifter position one three and four are on position two five and six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so you have eight gears and each gear has two positions um, so it gives you 16 speeds um other than that, all the Avecos are automatic transmission. So you can either get them upgraded with a 16-speed, and I think it's only the um, XP model that has, and this I don't think this is an XP, but we're going to pretend because I like driving manual. So <coughs> this particular truck, though, is not mine. Um, we, we are starting off again in the new profile, so we're just going to be driving around town, and this truck has a 12-speed uh, transmission. So you're going to see it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and we have low and high. So that gives us 12 speeds. So we're in one low, and let's go ahead and drive off. I have my volume down a little bit, so I'm going to turn that up just a hair because I can't hear my truck. So hold on one second while I fix that. But we're, So we're starting a new series off. Once again, this is the 1.35 release. Thank you. Uh, Jeremy Watt pointed that out to me um, last night. I didn't realize usually or lately <coughs> the developers have been releasing the same version for both games, American Truck and ETS2. Um, so 1.35 comes out for both games at once, but for whatever reason, this time they split it up. So 1.35 is out for ETS2. It is not out yet for American Truck Simulator. I don't believe. Oh, I'm way over, over revving there. So we're going to go ahead and make our way. This is a very short delivery, but it gives us a first look at the island of Crete. Is it Palermo? S Sicily? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's Crete. Quick Crete. I could be totally wrong, though, on that. And, um... <coughs> I don't currently have Pro Mods on, because Pro Mods is not available yet for 1.35 since it just came out. I'm sure it'll hit in the next couple days, but... They've got to add this island in, so... So I spent another week over in Europe, uh, in the UK, and I will say the roads, once again, <laughs> their roads are just a little bit narrower than ours, like a lot. And the trucks are definitely smaller than the American trucks, but sometimes you'll see 53-foot load, you know, trailers. But they're pretty rare. Most of the trailers are shorter. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, and not surprising, because the roads are narrower, and they're also... Um, you know, busier, so most of the European roads are pretty busy. At least in the UK, anyway. It's crazy busy. Very congested, just like me. Hey, babe. Hi. Moni is here with me. She'll be here for the next, I don't know how many weeks. Many. Could be three, could be 13. Either way, there's a three in there. It just depends on what goes on with our kids and how we can get them over here. We're having some immigration issues, so. What's up, babe? 
Oh, and by the way, Iveco is Italian. I think I said that at the beginning of the video, but it's actually an Italian truck company. Sold around the, well, the UK, around uh, Europe. But, oh, this guy's letting me through. Look at that. But there are Avecos all over the place in <coughs> in the UK. There, a lot of them are like you know dump trucks with uh, four wheel steering, like cool like cool setups. Um, to skip parking, no, we're not gonna skip. <laughs> all right, hang on one second, guys. Yes, because it's cute. Uh, all right, I'm backing in here. Actually, I'm pulling forward. I, I think I'm actually going to come from the other direction because this is going to be a pain in the butt to... to you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. to pull in from the, for the like the blind side. I'm gonna, If I can get hit it from this side, it'd be a little bit easier. Uh, that's a really tight turn, though. Don't want to jackknife the trailer. That's a big trailer, actually. Oh, don't hit that trailer. Okay. We need to do the precision parking, and the reason being is because uh, I need all the XP that I can get. My Here's what my plan is with this uh, setup. I'm going to get... I'm going to truck with other trucks until I have the, the larger loan. Because you know, at first they offer you a $100,000 loan, and I don't want that loan. I want to get the $400,000 loan. 400,000 euro. For, what? Is it 500? Okay, so $500,000 loan. Because I want to buy a truck and a trailer at the same time. I want to get my own setup. And I don't know what I'm going to be able to do from the lower levels. Unfortunately, we will not have very many options available to us. Um, like, I'll have to go with probably like a 12-speed transmission. I don't think to start off with you have the higher transmission speeds. But eventually we're going to get the 16-speed ZF transmission put in the truck. And there we are, right on base. Put the parking brake on. And I'm going to shut the engine off. And we're going to go ahead and detach the trailer. Ta-da! We went three kilometers. 43 XP. We're a newbie. <coughs> and now I'm free as the wind. It's going to show us our garage here. In uh, We still haven't decided what island this is. It's not Crete. It's... It's. Uh, Do I will. Good luck. Okay, so the map. Because I think. Go back. That's Sicily. Is this Sicily? Yeah. That's Sicily. So what is this then? Oh no, that is Sicily. Um, I think this is this yeah, is Sicily. Sicily. <sighs> Hold on, folks. We'll take a look. That's the new bit. That's the new bit, right? Hey. Sardinia. That's it. That's a new bit. <coughs> okay, so without feeling totally stupid, it's Sardinia. Uh, this is Sicily. This is Sardinia. What's the island north? Let's see. Um, Corsa. Okay. Now, is Corsa is not part of Italy, is it? Corsa's, I don't think so. Corsa is its own. Sardinia home. is not part of Italy. I don't yeah, it is. Is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Palermo. So, so, yeah, Sicily and Sardinia. And then where's... Monaco is its own kingdom. What is this? Palma. Mallorca. Mallorca. Menorca. Menorca. I've been there. Ibiza? Ibiza? I don't know. None of these islands are in the game, but. Okay. So there you go. So we have Sardinia and Sicily. Back to the game. All right. So we've completed this mission. We've got an email. Let's see what they said. Ooh, brand new Aveco trucks for sale. Dealer in Rome. Sweet. But we don't have any money, so... <laughs> we're going to have to look at the job market. Now, we can go anywhere to anywhere, but I would like to actually kind of stay where we're starting. So, in Sassari, uh, we're going to uh, take a look here and see what's available. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. These are all on the island. So, Cagliari. Kalahari. Is it? It's not Kalahari. Yes, it is Kalahari. No. Yeah. 
what kind of truck do we got? This is a 12-speed transmission. This one is a 12-speed. They both have 12-speed transmissions. Um, so there's the new Actros, big space. And let's see at level two what trucks are available at the truck stop or the, the uh, store. I want to go here. I think we're just going to have our Roman Iveco dealer. Yeah, we're going to visit. And we have our Stralis, just the base model, um, which is what we're going to end up buying. And there should be no upgrades available. We will upgrade the truck as we go, or we'll buy another one. It starts with 310, very small amount of horsepower. And you have a 12-speed or a 12-speed with a retarder. So we're going to stick with this 12-speed to start with. But we do want the ZF-16 speed. Uh, but that probably will be like many levels from now when we unlock that. But I like that shift pattern the best. So we're going to go. We're going to keep that shift pattern going. But um, probably just do the base 12-speed. Ugh. I don't like the standard cabin. We're going to have to buy a GPS for it. Uh, what paint schemes do we have available now? Okay, everything else I think is locked. Actually, we've got quite a bit that we have available to us. Um, let's see. Is my, any of my favorite schemes available, though? Lucky Panda. Ooh. <laughs> Crimson Dragon. <laughs> all right. So, anyway, we'll, we'll when we go to buy the truck, I'll figure out the paint scheme. But I forgot we have all of these that we bought. Um, I bought way back when ooh leopard pattern <laughs> it's so gross this one's pretty cool that liquefied like dreams ones. you like the wahani the christmas ski ooh candy apple red might be a good color for our truck pink no i'm not doing pink, pink. nope not this truck nope nope pink. no pink. pink see the thing is no Maybe we could do pink hot now, because that's I want I don't want to. It's a man truck. This is a truck for the man, so we want the yellow for the highlights. There we go, beautiful. Um, anyway, that you guys get the idea. So, let's go ahead and pick up another job. Um, and we're gonna also go live uh, with the stream, so people are, can chat and kind of no, no, right keep the story going. So, uh, I will see you in just a second here, where as I get uh, Twitch up and ready, and I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're taking some tracks to Cagliari. We're going to get a Mercedes Benz here. Nice truck. Close that down. We're going from Cargotas. Which I think, yeah, it's a gate, yep. This is going to be an ugly exit. Oh, this is a big trailer, too. I didn't realize this was an oversized trailer. I'm going to get, ugh. I don't like trying, th these in tight spaces, it's hard to get out of the gate. Oh, man. I turned the wheels, though. It should swing out. Nope, it didn't. I need to get over more. I'm going to try to actually back into the spot here. Are those? Yeah, those trailer wheels are turning with me, so this is one of those heavier loads. What did I just hit? Am I on the gate? Oh. And they just did not give me any room to maneuver. Here we go. Try this again. I can't see over there to see if there's traffic coming, but there we go. We're clear. Okay, that time I made it, and we should be just fine. I'm afraid the butt's going to catch on the gate. Nope, it didn't. Okay, good. There we go. Traffic. It all looks good. So the way that they have the range splitters set up in this game is not like I said with the 
From what I've seen with the ZF transmissions, they're eight speeds and then they have a splitter on the front. So it's like, it'd be, kind of be like one low, one low, one high through eight low, eight high. Um, and it, that equals 16 speeds. But uh, this is setting it up more like an American truck where you have uh, four on the lower, you have, a, you have like a double splitter, uh, range and splitter. Um, so you have a low range, and then you have a high range, and then you have a splitter. So like the splitter would take you from one through four, and then uh, five through eight, and then the uh, the range takes you from one you know one low, one high, two low, two high. So all the way up to the sixteen speeds. In America, we have 18 speeds because those trucks also include low, like a two crawler gears, low and low, low. So that's how we get 18 speeds. But on the European trucks, they don't apparently have that. They do have a 12 plus two, two which is two, like a crawler one and crawler two. And then um, low gear. But they don't have um, the other ones, so. Now, I thought we owned the garage here in town, but apparently there's another one you can buy? I thought we owned that. Isn't that weird? It's... No, maybe we do, because it's gray. I thought the gray ones were the ones you could buy, but maybe it's the green ones. And oh, we're gonna go. My chair is creaking. <laughs> We're going to go all the way around the roundabout. I have to go straight. We're going to crash. Does that guy go straight? There we go. Okay, he did. So. Still a little tricky. Those roundabouts are very different than the ones we have in America. <laughs> well, I'm sure there's places where we have ones that are like that, but it's kind of scary when two lanes go in and two lanes come out. Slow down coming up here. Oh, we need three. There we go. Oh, I just got across in time. That tram was right there. I saw that right in my mirror. Oops. Worst time to have trouble switching gears because I forgot five, six high is the highest gear on this truck, so we would need to get back into the, to split it back to the low area of the gears. on there. Oh, this is real pretty. Look at all the new vegetation. At least we know where we are now. Sardinia. I don't know how you can go 70 miles an hour through these corners. You'd end up dumping over. <laughs> it's a beautiful day in Italy. Probably fairly warm. Yeah, 26. It's kind of warm. Italy, I know up north it gets cooler, but I think in the southern region it's always warm. It's probably a lot like Spain where it has a lot of different zones, because obviously you get up near the Alps and it gets, you know, pretty cold up there. And then it probably has some temperate zones in the middle too. Oh, my engine brake is not toggling. I'll have to fix that. Yep, see everybody slowing down. Even though the speed limit's 70. This is really pretty in here. Oh, 
Wow, is that beautiful? Like the little tree, the trees with the little lollipop tops. Very Italian looking. I wonder how large the island is, if it's huge or if it's like. But a fugus. <laughs> That's cool. The, top, the building's coming right up to the street. Old world. I know. I'll have to go to the store. Okay. Probably not. You can always ask Ryan, but he won't be home till late. Oh my goodness. Look at this curve. Oh wow. So that was a mistake. I thought four. That was weird. So this is really cool. It's a beautiful area. Small little town. So I guess you can't get trailers until higher level, so... I think when I buy my truck, I'm just going to take a default paint scheme. <laughs> And then when we buy the trailer, we'll get... Because I don't know what... You know, some of the trailers have different paint schemes than the trucks have. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> oh, don't stop. Oy. I'm going to try to get a scheme that matches. But, uh... So there's no point in paying for it on a fancy paint scheme that I'm going to have to change again later. So I'll probably just get a... Uh, basic paint scheme and then once I can unlock the trailers I'll get a more exciting one Is this the city up here? I don't think so. I think we gotta we're gonna curve through here and then head somewhere else. But maybe, no, well, maybe was it Orbia, Kibia, Olbia, Olbia. No, this is not where we're going. But we're turning. Whoa! There we go. We're getting some city discovery bonus points, and we'll get a lot of those because. I don't have, uh, since we're starting a new profile, we have to get, like, reclaim all of those. Wow, this is a really busy area. What is that? Is that a road up there? Maybe it is. We're heading for Centro. <laughs> it's the center of town. Oh. It's really tight in here. Look out. Are you turning right here? Oh, red light. My chair needs some WD-40. It's really starting to creak a lot. <laughs> Annoying. Oh, that's right. We're going to Cagliari.
So are we clear? We're clear. What's up, Evs? Nothing. Cagliari. I don't know why that guy's not going, but I need to go, so we're gonna. Maybe they got a red going the other way or something. So I think this is the halfway point. Once again, these are short trips because I just don't have the experience for long distance trips. But that kind of, usually I just do for uh, these uh, newer ones. I've only been doing one road distance because that usually adds up to about an hour episode, maybe 45 minutes, which is a nice length for an episode. So then I work on all the other uh, perk unlocks and then I'll just leave them at that. So train, look out. I want to get caught up by the train again. And we're going right. There we go. And another roundabout. Porto. Whoa. Isn't the whole island technically a port? Though Sardinia, I don't know how big it is, if it's a real big island or if it's small. So now we're leaving o Olbia. Olbia, however you pronounce it. Control around 80. So this is a pretty little island. Actually, it's a pretty pretty big island. Oh man. And very curvy too. How are we doing gas? We're fine. Usually on these short job ones, you don't ever have to fill up. So we'll be working for the man for a couple episodes till we can afford a truck. Um, like I said, I, I was going to wait till the $500,000 loan, but I don't know if that's even a great plan because, though I don't think I'll have enough with just the $100,000 loan. The truck prices are pretty steep, so um, I think they run about a hundred. 10, 120. So, we'll have to see. She's got a nice straight section of freeway here for a little bit. <laughs> Surprising. What's that about, honey? Evelyn? Okay. They can go outside. Yeah, but the rule is that. What does that say? Close the door? Yeah. Neuro. I thought we were going to Cagliari, but I guess we're heading towards Neuro. Neuro? Neuro? I didn't know five low. I guess 40. It's the top. It looks like it's the top of four high. And the bottom of five low. Ooh, look at those pretty mountains. And once again, we're in these. It's kind of a curvy area back here. Fui! Some kind of business back in there. That's kind of cool. Slow it down 
number 50. Okay, somehow I got down to 40. Don't remember that though. And we got a yield up ahead. Cool. That's a volcano. Probably in Italy, it probably is. Hopefully dormant. Dude! It's called a brake check. hill here in the town. We're in Dorgalli. Dorgalli. Or is it Dorgalli? Ooh, pretty. Up on the hillside here. Dorgali. Wow, is that pretty? Reminds me of California. Except for the hundred year old building or five hundred year old buildings. Or older. Uh oh. Are you sleepy, Evelyn? <laughs> oh, we're in the high country now. Slouching? Yes, ma'am. Whoa. And down to 50 again. <laughs> Make up your mind. Servizzo. Car did do. This is quite a long trip, actually, for a uh, first or second level driver with no perks. Surprised at how long this is. I thought it was going to be shorter. Ooh. Don't crash into the guy in front of you. I guess the nice thing about having the toggle off is at least you know when it's on and off because you're putting your hand on it. So when your finger's on the button, it, it's on, and when your finger's off the button, it's off. Because sometimes I can't hear the engine if it's Jake braking or not. That's hard to tell. These trucks don't have an indicator. Some of the American ones do, some of them don't. But none of these do. Nope, we're good. And we're good.
Whoa. Whoa. Sorry, Mr. Romeo. Whoa. You wouldn't believe it, but it's true. Uh, and if you go, like, to the UK, there's a town called Saltburn where the buses have to climb these hills. And they're pretty much, like, sharper turns than that, so... Truth is stranger than fiction. Uh, Europe is definitely... Uh, and they have very curvy roads for these poor truck drivers that have to navigate through. Oh my gosh. It just gets crazier up ahead. Look at this incline. It's kind of between gears too, so it's difficult. How could you go 70 through here? Man. 50, yeah. That's about what I'm going right now. Or less. Oh my goodness. Okay, it gets really curvy here. What's up, Ev? Thank goodness, I, you know, this actually, in a way, I'm glad this trailer has those follow behind wheels because this is, this would be really difficult to navigate with a straight trailer. One that didn't have help, steering, steering help. And even, even so, I'm still crossing the white, but. <coughs> Sorry. Whoa. Ekatros. Oh my goodness. Slowly, carefully working our way down. steep curve. Wow, that was quite an uh, intense ride. There we go. Let's, I think we're down San Gregorio. Oh, I guess it's not really a turn, is it? it is, well, that's a tough one. I don't know. Left San Gregorio. Man, this is really out there. Dang. <laughs> Maybe we'll take a reverse trip so we can go back this way because this is really cool. Oh, wow. 50. Uh, Might be going a little faster than that through here. Okay, back down to 50. Such a nice straight area, but maybe just because of the houses. You could see the World Rally Championship happening here, couldn't you? On some of these dirt roads in the background. <coughs> I don't remember there being a rally Italy, though. I remember Spain, Portugal. I don't remember Italy being on the circuit. I 
I'm sure there has been at some point there's been an Italian rally, but with the WRC, but in the years that I watched, I don't remember it. Greece was a good one because that was such a harsh environment. Greece is, you know, very desert-like um, and really hard on the cars. Let's wiggle our way through here. I'm trying. How soon, how much do I have? Oh my gosh, one hour. I'm 23 minutes away though, so we should be fine. Sometimes the jobs don't take, an account, uh, take into account the road conditions, and that's, that's a little bit rough sometimes because like there's no way I could have done that any faster. I still will have an hour on the other side of it, but it's really close. If it takes me a long time to park, I could be in trouble. Oh, we're turning right up here. Great. We got a stoplight up ahead. There's our stop. So that was quite a, an impressive journey, actually, for a first-time job. <laughs> Usually, like I said, the, the early jobs seem like they're a lot shorter, but maybe they've changed that a little bit so that you're able to make a little bit more money. But uh, we've definitely found more of the island now. And so we'll tour around here a little bit more because I really like this island, and it's pretty, and... as we build our Italian trucking company, Italy. Yeah, we'll go through there, no problem. And once again, I'm gonna swing around here and come from the other angle because it's a little bit easier to get into that spot from this side, slow way down. These trailers are a little tricky to back because they turn for you. But we will be able to do this, I think, pretty handily. Oh, oh so close. Ta-da! And we're gonna drop it. Don't really have to worry about stopping the truck because we're getting out anyway. So there we go. Job completed. It took seven hours. It was like a nine-hour job. We could progress to level one. We did level one and a half. Newbie. And we're gonna add one to long distance. We do have an email. Ooh, need money. We can help. Visit your local banking center. We can borrow a hundred thousand, hundred actually we borrow hundred and fifty thousand dollars. <sighs> Be a lot of money a day. Let's see how much the truck in question is. Um No, I'm gonna buy online. We're not gonna be able to buy online, but I wanna ugh. see they make you visit. Uh Yeah. 
Yeah, 6,000 bucks. How much is this? 96. I mean, we could buy a really stripped down one for $96,000. That's, you know. <laughs> Let's try it. You really want to leave the trailer ship? Yeah. Uh, hopefully they don't charge you time for that, but. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and um, go to the bank. Yeah. Let's see if that covers it. Um, and we're going to truck dealers. And probably taking forever to do this, but visit selected dealer. And there's our beautiful truck. It's the standard Stratus. It's not the truck of the year version, which is fine. I like the. I actually kind of like the standard one better. Um, none of these are available. or pretty much base truck. I could change the color. <laughs> Mystery blue. Ew. I like the reds. I do like the reds on this truck. Black's pretty good looking too. Um, we'll go with the blue. Nah, you know what? Red. Cool. And we definitely need what we got here. Don't need that. I don't really like the wind visors. I don't know why I'm like that, but I just don't. Uh, okay, we don't have a license plate yet, so we'll put that in. Nothing. Nothing at all is available. <laughs> And that's not surprising. Oh, we do have different tires available, though. Buy Aeon Mileage Tires, 94. Actually, the price has gone down. Really? Back up to the regular price. Nothing's available there. Nothing's available there. That's fine. Well, let's go ahead and hop into the truck. Okay, the price went down because I got the... Um, Because I took, I changed the paint color, and that was a thousand dollar difference. We don't need that. Um. So, for now, I would say that that's good. We can start unlocking other stuff for our truck later, but for now, that's that'll be that'll do. So let's go ahead and confirm this. Nice red truck with Michelin tires on it. And uh, we'll we'll do some upgrades once again once we get further in and we can buy some cool stuff for the truck. But for now, that'll do. But I wonder if we can get trailers yet. I don't think we can. But if we can, I wonder if I can match the color. Oh, we've taken our truck home. Sweet. So from now on, we work for ourselves. However, we're pretty limited because this truck has very little horsepower. Um, and it's pretty small gearbox. Woo. What's this all about? Okay, so we're here. My guy needs sleep. I think we can sleep in the garage. Um, all right, so that should do it for this episode. But let's take a really quick look here. I thought I assigned a skill point, but I guess I didn't. Let's take a real quick look here. Can we buy trailers yet? Nope. Further on in the game. So, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help. And uh, it's cool to have our own truck. I'm excited about that. Um, so we will, we will see you next time um, on Euro Truck Simulator. Have a great night. Once again, be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help. And we will see you next time. Bye.